I'm he here with M.K. Ben Simone of the Labour Party. M.K. Ben Simone, what would bring you to a conference like this one? Uh, to tell you the truth, the Knesset got emptied about an hour ago, and they ask people, "Where are you going? Where are they?" They said they're all going to Paris conference. So, the Knesset at five o'clock was like a desert. So I said I should go myself. Also, I was I'm invited. I think it's the mega mega event in terms of of, uh, of Israel, and and uh, I must say that that so many Knesset members are attracted by the people who are coming here and it's it's also it's substance and also kind of of meeting people so you can get them both with one ticket as and you uh, sorry to interrupt you there but as you know this conference is addressing many of the issues facing the future what do you believe are the main issues facing israel in the coming year i personally wish that they 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 touch more uh, on the peace process i wish that the president would do more and touch more on issues that will uh, uh, impact all of us maybe next month maybe next year and less of uh, on the philosophical uh, point of view but but rather the urgency of the issues uh, uh, in terms of the gaps in society and the peace process and i would i wish that the president with all his prestige will put everything all his weight on these two issues to tell Israelis we cannot live with such gaps between the rich and the poor and that we should do more on the peace process. And he's the only man on earth, except President Obama, who can, who can change reality on these two issues. What do you believe is the main obstacle in the peace process right now? I don't want to blame uh, Palestinians or us, but the fact is it's nearly dead. We cannot afford. And I know, I know Mr. Perez so, so many years He's been a man of peace for so many years and maybe he will use his speech or he will this that and say tell Israelis there is no emptiness in the peace process. We should fill the void and he's the only man and I say he's the only man who can talk to Israelis both leaders and people about as I said inequality within society and the urgency of getting closer to our neighbors and regardless who's to blame, but these are the two main issues that will define Israel in the next few years. What can the government be doing to address the social disparities that you mentioned? Well, it's a government with a with the with the uh, economic philosophy, which is not very good for the uh, uh, for the, the the poor and uh, those who don't have enough. Uh, eventually, I am a member of Labour Party. I wish we will uh, have a chance by next elections to bring our point of, of trying to to give the the to take from the rich more and to give to the poor more so to bridge between these two parts of society this is a chance to raise the issues this is a kind of huge think tank where so many people are coming from all over the world most of them Jews I think yes and this is a chance it kind of, of a think tank of soul searching among us as to the future of Israeli society as I said, the two issues will define us, how we look to each other in terms of society and uh, 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 in terms of the economy. And of course, can we live in peace with our neighbors? In my eyes, these two issues will define what we are. And there's one man who can address these two issues with such authority. I forgot his name. I would assume yes. President Perez. I am talking about President Shimon Perez. Yes, he's the one who can make a difference. Let's talk just for a moment about the future of your party, the Labour Party. Do you believe that Shelly Yekhimovich, the chairwoman of your party, can bring the Labour Party back to the days of leadership? I think, with all modesty, we will be either the first party or the second party in next elections. Take me for my word. How are you going to make sure that happens? It's we are addressing the right issues, mostly social justice. And it works so well because this is the issue of the day. And we're going to do so well that either we will form the government or we will be a major associate in the next coalition. That I can promise you. This will be a different coalition. And as I said, people respond to us. They want more social justice and and i meet thousands of people that's what they say and we, th we should do this uh, uh, as soon as possible 
it's good for the Labour Party, but rather it's good for the country, for the Israeli society. MK Ben Simon, thank you for sharing some of your time, and we hope you enjoy the conference. Thank you very much.